disappointed not to be with you all this weekend. Razočaran sam što ovog vikenda nisam s vama. Brenda and I were looking forward to joining you at the conference. Brenda i ja smo se veselili tome da vam se pridružimo na konferenciji. I'm glad for the opportunity to speak to you through video. Ali drago mi je za ovu priliku da vam progovorim kroz ovaj video. And I'm glad to have my friend Vienci helping me out. I drago mi je da je Vienci sa mnom i da mi pomaže. I want to talk to you about something that God has been working in my mind and in my heart over the last several years. I želim vam s vama podijeliti nešto na čemu Bog radi u mojem srcu i u mojem umu već na zadnjih nekoliko godina. A few years ago I was at a conference with Udruga Focus. Prije nekoliko godina bio sam na jednoj konferenciji sa Udrugom Focus. We had a brother with us named Brian Morgan. A uh, jedan brat je bio s nama po imenu Brian Morgan. And Brian was teaching us about the importance of lament. I Brian nas je poučavao o važnosti tužaljki. So he's taking us through the Psalms. Prolazili smo kroz Psalme. And the life of David. Život Davidov. And he was encouraging us to write down our own lament. I on nas je ohrabrivao da zapišemo sami svoje tužaljke. And during that time I got a phone call that my father had a, uh, a stroke in the middle of the night and was rushed to the hospital. I uh, tokom te konferencije doznao sam da je moj otac imao jedan uh, infarkt i da je uh, hitno odvezen u bolnicu. He already had a lung disease. We, we really didn't know if he would make it. Već je imao jednu bolest pluća i nismo bili sigurni da će uopće preživjeti. And so I just began writing, just the, and the words, the thoughts, they flowed out of my mind and my heart. I misli i riječi su jednostavno potekle iz mojega uma, iz mojega srca i pisao sam. And in that real moment as I'm thinking about my dad, the, the lament was easy. I u tom trenutku kad sam razmišljao o svojem ocu, tuženje i to te tužaljke iz mojega srca bile su jednostavne. Turns out that dad was fine, full recovery. Uh, ispalo je na kraju da se otac uspio uh, u potpunosti oporaviti. And that kind of set me on this path of, of looking more in scripture to better understand lament. How does lament work in the life of a believer? I to me je uputilo da malo više istražim na koji način tužajke djeluju u životu jednog vjernika. We, we have expectations, we have assumptions about God. Imamo nekakve pretpostavke o Bogu, svi mi. No, this is this is what life should look like. Ovako bi život trebao izgledati. The, I, I've kind of figured out some basic truth. I, I know what it means to walk with God. Skužio sam koje su nekakve osnovne istine, znam kako se hoda s Bogom. I've got some precious promises from God. Imam nekakva dragocjena obećanja od Boga. I even start to think ahead. I, I can see what God's going to do with my life. Čak i mogu razmišljati unaprijed i mogu vidjeti na neki način što Bog želi so napraviti s mojim životom. Like. Pa počinju mm-hmm. razmišljati o tome uh, za, za koga će se vjenčati and i kako će brak izgledati. To plan out what my kids lives are be like. Isplanirati, uh, već počinjem planirati živote svoje and djece. Plans for my, my job or for my faculty. Uh, imam planove za svoj posao, za svoj fakultet. And it's, it's all kind of set in my mind. I can see it. I have expectations. I imam nekakva očekivanja. Sve je to već onako mogu gotovo opipati. And then, and then life happens. I onda se život dogodi. And th- I thought this was the good, but this is reality. Ja sam mislio da je ovo dobro, a da je ovo nekakva stvarnost. And, it, and the promises aren't working out. I ona obećanja koja sam imao jednostavno više ne funkcioniraju. And, and I'm not marrying the person I thought I was going to marry. I na kraju se nisam ni oženio za onu osobu koju sam mislio da hoću. And the person I do marry I, I, it doesn't seem to be the same person they were when we were dating. A ona osoba za koju se jesam oženio to više nije ona ista osoba kad smo dok smo hodali. Or somebody dies. Ili netko umre. Or somebody gets cancer. Neko dobije rak. Or I go into debt or I lose my job. Izgubim posao ili zapadnem u dugove. Or I, I don't pass exams, I don't get into faculty. Ne prođem mm. ispite, ne upadnem na fakultet. Or I, 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 I can't sense God, there was joy from God and now I, I don't feel it, he seems far away. I prije sam usjećao taj nekakvu radost od Boga, ali sad se čini kao da je miljama daleko and, and od this, mene. And this is, this is what I expect and this is reality. I ovo je ono što ja očekujem, a ovo je realnost. And, and it's, it's not matching up. Nikako se ne slažu. And so it's very disorienting. I to je onako dezorientirajuće. And there's a variety of emotions. I could feel anger. Mogu uh, biti bijesan. Bitterness. Mogu biti ogorčen. Uh, fear. Uh, mogu biti u strahu. Um, doubt. Mogu imati sumnje. I, I can fear I, I, I can feel self-loathing I'm, I'm, it's my fault mogu se baciti u nekakav samoprijezir kao da sam sebe krivim za to and the big question for believers it's 
You don't have to doubt that those feelings are going to come. They're going to come. I pitanje za vjernike, jer inače ne morate sumnjati, hoće li, ne morate se pitati hoće li ti osjećaj doći, oni će doći. The, the do pitanje je što napraviti s njima onda kad ti osjećaj dođu. And that's where lament can help to learn to lament can help us know what to do with those emotions. I tu nam tužaljke i, i to da se naučite kako, uh, kako ispjevati te tužaljke dolazi od, i, i to nam je od velike pomoći. And that's what we see in the Old Testament. To vidimo u Starom Zavjetu. We see Old Testament believers being very willing to communicate very raw, dark emotion to God. U Starom Zavjetu vidimo dosta vjernika koji su u stanju uh, iskomunicirati vrlo sirove i vrlo mračne misli Bogu. 70 of the Psalms are lament psalms. 70 psalama su tužaljke. It's the by far the largest category of psalm. I to je daleko naj uh, uh, najbrojnija kategorija psalama. It's almost half of all the psalms. Gotovo pola od svih svih psalama. Job is a there's a cycles of a lament through the book of Job. Kroz cijelu knjigu Joba postoje uh, krugovi Uh, 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 tužaljki. Jeremiah was known as the complaining prophet. Jeremija je bio uh, poznat kao prorok koji se stalno žali. There are six complaints or laments in his book. Postoji šest različitih uh, uh, tužaljki u tom u njegovoj knjizi. And of course lamentations is a lament. I naravno cijela knjiga tužaljki je tužaljka. There's a short lament in the story of Elijah. Postoji isto tako i kratka tužaljka u Ilijinom životu. Uh, he was he, he waited for God to call him into a battle, a power confrontation with the prophets of Baal. Pozvao je uh, Boga da dođe s njim i da se bore u tu uh, jednu bitku protiv Baalovih proroka. And they both set up their sacrifices. Uh, i jedni i drugi su postavili svoje uh, žrtvenike. And Elijah won. Fire came down on his. I Ilija je pobjedio zato što se vatra s neba spustila And na njegov žrtvenik. Said, the people said, we're for Yahweh. I narod je rekao, mi smo za Jahve. And all the prophets of Baal are killed. I sve proroke Baalove su ubili. And Elijah, no, he sees the good. The good is that there's going to be revival in Israel. I Ilija vidi da se iz ovoga rađa nešto dobro i da će se dogoditi jedno probuđenje, ponovno probuđenje u Izraelu. But not if Jezebel can help it. Ali ne ako je Jezebela tome može pomoći. And she sends him a message. She says you're going to be the same as you're going to be just as dead as the prophets of Baal by this time tomorrow. I ona pošalje poruku Iliji i kaže kao što su ovi Balovi proroci mrtvi, tako ćeš i ti biti mrtav sutra u ovo doba. And Elijah runs away. I Ilija pobjegne. It's not quite clear is he um, afraid? I nije potpunosti jasno jel se on boji? Is he despondent? Um, depressed? Je li depre- deprimiran? Um, but he he leaves Israel and he walks all the way through Judah. Ali napušta Izrael i spušta se skroz kroz cijelu Judu. And he's in the wilderness. I odlazi u divljinu. And he comes to a tree. I dođe do jednog stabla. And then he laments. I tamo se tuži, tamo God, se žali. God, I'm no better than my fathers. Bože, ja nisam ništa bolji nego što su moji očevi. change the hearts of Israel. Nisam mogao promijeniti od, uh, srca Izraela. Let me die. Daj samo da umrem. I just want to die. Samo želim umret. Yeah, that's it's such a common response. We have all this heavy negative emotion and we just want it to be over. I to je jedan tipičan tipična reakcija, no kad imamo te teške osjećaje, samo želimo nestat. And I love what God does. <laughs> I uh, meni se super sviđa što Bog napravlja, And if you're, napravi u tom trenutku. If you have a gift of mercy, ako imate dar milosti, if you're an empathetic person, i uh, jedna ste uh, suosjećajna osoba, then you'll get this right away. Onda ćete you know, ovo odmah znati. There's no sermon. Nema tu propovijed. God doesn't correct Elijah. Bog ga nije išao sad ispravljati. He bakes him bread. Već mu ispeče kruh. Yeah, food. That's how he addresses the depression. On njegovu depresiju uh, pokušava izliječiti hranom. He just says, "Sleep Elijah." Elijah sleeps. He wakes up, there's fresh bread. I onda mu kaže, "Ilija, spavaj." Ilija zaspe i kad se probudi, svježi kruh je pred njim. And then God does it again. Sleep some more, more fresh bread. 
I onda opet napravi istu stvar. Opet spavaj i opet dobije svježi kruh. And then I think I know God knows you men need to do something. So he says, okay, now go to Mount Sinai. I onda, pošto Bog zna ljude, on zna da ljudi trebaju nešto i raditi, onda mu kaže, idi na Sinaj. And he, he, he's still not preaching to Elijah. I još uvijek mu on ne propovjeda. And now Elijah's exercise, he's, he's walking it off. I sad Ilija malo ima i fizičke aktivnosti tu, šeta. And he's reflecting. Razmišlja. When he gets to the mountain, he's still got a complaint. Kad dođe do planine, još uvijek ima pritužbu. But now God's ready to speak. Ali sad je Bog spreman da progovori. And God changes his perspective. I Bog yes. mijenja Ilijinu perspektivu. You're not quite seeing it right, Elijah. Ne gledaš na stvari ispravno, Ilija. You're not alone. Nisi sam. And I've got more for you to do. I imam još toga što želim da napraviš. And I got a guy who's going to help you with it. I imam jednog čovjeka koji će ti pomoći s tim. And at this point Elijah's ready to receive that and he's able to move into a new stage of ministry. I u ovom trenutku Ilija je spreman to primiti i otići u novo uh, uh, ući u novo razdoblje svoje službe. And this is the power of lament. I to je moć tužaljke. Biblical lament is we enter into an honest expression of our dark emotions. Biblijsko uh, tuženje ili biblijske pritužbe one su takve da ulazimo u iskreno uh, područje uh, svojih mračnih osjećaja koje izražavamo. And, and then from there God leads us through a process um, by which we come to a new perspective of what is good. I onda nas Bog provodi kroz taj cijeli proces kako bismo mogli shvatiti uh, što je u istinu dobro. I thought it was this. Uh, mislio sam da je ovo dobro. But then reality shakes me. Ali realnost me uzdrmala. And now I need to go through a process with God to understand a fresh perspective of what really is the good. I sad moram proći kroz ovaj jedan proces koji će mi pomoći da shvatim da, da imam novu perspektivu toga što je uistinu dobro. Okay, let's consider the elements of biblical lament. Idemo razmotriti elemente biblijskog uh, biblijskih pritužbi. And then we'll look at it, we'll look at an example in Psalm 3. I pogledat ćemo isto tako jedan primjer u Psalmu 3. There are six elements to lament. Postoji šest mm-hmm. elemenata uh, tužaljkama. The first is address. Prvi je to da treba osloviti. That's usually really short. To je obično it's vrlo just, kratko. It's just o oh Lord. To obično o oh Bože. You know, or like Jesus told us to pray, Heavenly Father. Ili kao što nam je Isus rekao, kao što nas Isus naučio da se molimo, Oče, Oče naš nebeski. So it is personal expression conversation we're looking at God. To je dakle jedna osobna Uh, ekspresija gdje promatramo Boga. Second element is complaint. Uh, drugi element je sama pritužba. And this can make us uncomfortable, but this is the psalmist just being really honest with all the mess that's going on. I ovo nas ponekad može malo izbaciti iz takta zato što uh, psalmisti često znaju biti vrlo iskreni sa svim osjećajima i svim što se događa unutra. David was a king, he lived in a war a war like time. David je bio kralj i živio je u poprilično ratno doba. So a lot of his laments are about enemies. Tako da je dosta njegovih tužaljki vezano za njegove neprijatelje. Tend to be four things: enemies, sickness, uh, dakle neprijatelji, uh, bolesti, being trapped like at the bottom of a pit. Uh, ili uh, kako je uh, u, u, u zamci kao na dnu nekakve jame or death ili smrt. And, and, and all kinds of full range of emotion. I tu ima jedan potpuni puni spektar emocija. That's the complaint. To je dakle pritužba. They tend to then follow that with a statement of trust. Potom uh, slijedi izjava vjere. And they speak truth into their own situation. I oni govore istinu u svoju vlastitu situaciju. And this is This is where it's important to understand that a lament is a process. I ovdje je važno shvatiti da je uh, tužaljka jedan proces. And they're still in the middle of it. I još uvijek prolaze kroz ovu tužaljku. Uh, for example, there, there's another set of psalms called Thanksgiving psalms. Na primjer, postoji uh, drugi uh, 
set drugi druga skupina psalama koji se zovu psalmi zahvalnosti. About 15 of those. Negdje ih je oko 15. And they're very much like laments in that there's a complaint. I oni su često vrlo slični tužajkama zato što postoji pritužba. But by the end of the psalm the complaints over God has rescued them. Ali do kraja tog psalma ta pritužba više nema nikakvu osnovu zato što ih je Bog spasio. So they're giving thanks for the salvation. Pa se onda zahvaljuju zato što ih je Bog spasio. A lament is not to the end yet. You're still in those bad circumstances. A tužaljka je u toliko različita što još uvijek niste izišli iz tih teških vremena. Lament is also different from a, a praise psalm. Uh, tužaljka se također razlikuje i od uh, psalma slavljenja. No, the praise psalm, you can you can just walk outside and look at the sky and in that moment praise God for his awesome wonder. Možete se jednog dana samo mm-hmm. išetati van i vidjeti predivno nebo iznad vas i samo iz te činjenice slaviti Boga. You know, think about his loving kindness and write a psalm of praise. Ili razmišljati o njegovoj ljubavi i napisati psalam slavljenja so, o tome. There are about 15 of those. Postoji negdje oko 15 tih. And they represent more of a moment. It's a it's a moment's impression of who God is. I oni više um, Uh, predstavljaju nekakve trenutke, jedan utisak kad svatite tko je Bog i kakav je on. A lament psalm is moving through time. It's a process. Dok je tužaljka drugačija zato što je to jedan prolazak kroz jedan proces, duži proces. And so we, we express our complaint, what's wrong. Dakle, uh, mi izražavamo ono što je krivo. And we speak truth into it. I onda... Uh, govorimo istinu that's our statement of trust jer to je naša izjava vjere but it doesn't fix everything ali to što smo mi govorili istinu jednostavno ne popravi sve and, and our, our emotion we, we might still be angry and doubtful i naše emocije su još uvijek divlje i mi još uvijek možemo biti i bijesni i uh, puni sumnje or, or grieving ili možemo biti u velikoj tuzi speaking truth into deep grief doesn't remove the grief to kad govorite istinu unatoč tome što ste tužni ne odstrani tugu. So speaking lament it, it, it could be a process of a, of a day. Tako da to kad izgovarate pritužbu ili kad imate tužaljku to može biti proces od jednog dana. Could be weeks. Može biti nekoliko tjedana. Uh, remember reading C.S. Lewis book A Grief Observed. Uh, čitajući uh, knjigu C.S. Lewisa uh, koju najbolje mogu prevesti sa uh, promatranje jedne tuge his the wife he married late in life uh, supruga s kojom se vjenčao dosta kasno u životu and she died of cancer umrla je od raka they were married just a short period of time uh, bili su u braku dosta kratko vremena and and Lewis writes about going through lament grief i C.S. Lewis piše o tome kad je prolazio kroz tugu And he, he says he, he spoke truth into it. He never gave up on God or denied God. I on govori o tome kako je stalno govorio istinu i podsjećao se na istinu, jer nikad nije odustao od Boga. But day by day there was no joy and there was no peace. Ali iz dana u dan nije bilo ni mira ni radosti. He didn't see the sun. Nije vidio sunce. And he says it lasted a year for him. I on kaže da je za njega to trajalo godinu dana. And then one day uh, the sun came out. I onda je jednog dana sunce izišlo. And he felt the light and the warmth. I osjetio je i svjetlo i toplinu. So we we have a statement of trust. That's where you're by faith speaking truth into your um, pain. Um, but you it's a process. You you keep doing it. Dakle to što uh, govorite istinu u svoju situaciju Uh, to je nešto što se ponavlja i to je nešto što nastavljate i dalje raditi kroz tu cijelu situaciju. And the fourth element of lament is uh, a cry for rescue. Onda je četvrti element uh, je poziv uh, u pomoć ili Or da, de- yeah, deliverance here. Ili poziv na spasenje. And you, you just are honest with God. God, take this cup away from me. Ili da jednostavno budete u potpunosti iskreni s Bogom i da kažete, Bože, molim te od strani ovaj kalež od mene. Restore the joy of my salvation. I um, obnovi radost mojega spasenja. The fifth element is assurance. 
Peti element je sigurnost. And it's a different it's very similar to a statement of trust except the tone is different. I ona je vrlo slična ta ta sigurnost je vrlo slična izjavi vjere. It's, ali malo je drugačiji ton. It's you've you've come to see your salvation. Dakle, uh, došao si vidjeti svoje spasenje. It's like you're, you're, you're not disoriented, you're standing on solid ground. Sad više nisi dezorijentiran, već stojiš na čvrstom tlu. The sun has become to come out. Sunce je počelo izlaziti. And in a lament psalm, often it's, it's stated as though the problem is already fixed. I've already been saved. I u tužaljkama je vrlo često uh, izjava takva kao da je problem već riješen. And it, it's not over yet, but you state, you know, my enemies are defeated. I'm lifted out of the pit. I uh, često puta uh, izjava je takva da govori uh, kao da je problem već gotov. Dakle, moji neprijatelji su poraženi, ja sam izišao iz jame. And then the psalm moves to the last element, which is praise. I onda psalam kreće prema svom zadnjem dijelu, a to je slavljenje. There's only one lament psalm that doesn't end in assurance and praise. Postoji samo jedan psalam koji ne zavr... jedan psalam koji ne završava sa sigurnošću i sa slavljenjem. And I think that's quite significant. I think it's significant that there is one. Uh, I mislim da je to poprilično značajno zato što je mislim da je značajno uopće da postoji iti jedan. And that it's significant that Isto tako je značajno to da postoji samo jedan. It's Psalm 88. To je 88. Psalm. If you read the end, it ends with fear, um, all his friends are gone, and everything's dark. I ako pročitate to, vidjet ćete da završava, Psalm 88. završava sa strahom, uh, ostao je u potpunosti sam, tama ga, tama ga obuzima i nema nikoga, nema nikoga od njegovih prijatelja. And that brings to me to mind uh, the reality of clinical depression. I meni to uh, priziva na um uh, uh, realnost kliničke depresije. It is possible to find yourself in such a place that nothing is going to help. Moguće je da se pronađete na takvom mjestu gdje mislite da ništa ne može pomoći. The, the, the chemicals in your body have actually been depleted by your um, grief and sadness. Kemikalije u vašem tijelu su jednostavno potroš, potrošene u potpunosti zbog vaše tuge. And you really need professional help. I treba vam profesionalna pomoć, stručna pomoć. Um, if you ever been in a clinical depression then you know what I'm talking about. Ako ste ikad bili u kliničkoj depresiji onda sigurno znate o čemu govorim. Um, and many of us can approach that kind of depression. I mnogi od nas mogu se jako približiti takvoj depresiji. Um, but when it gets to that stage we, we really need help. Ali kad dođe do te točke onda nam zaista treba pomoć. But I think the other 69 laments. Ali ostalih 69 tužaljki. Say to me that that normally we have some very painful things to go through. Nam govore da obično imamo teške stvari kroz koje moramo proći. And if and we can go through them. I možemo proći kroz. That God will bring us to the other side. I Bog će nas provesti sve do druge strane. That if we will speak our sadness to him. Ako jednostavno izgovorimo svoju tugu njemu, then continue to, to bring truth into the situation. I ako kontinuirano donosimo istinu i govorimo istinu u cijelu našu situaciju. And, and whether it's a day or weeks or a year we we keep at it with god i bilo da je u pitanju jedan dan ili tjedan ili mjesec nastavljamo dalje govoriti istinu zajedno s bogom the sun will come out again sunce će ponovno izići and we will stand on a firm place again i mi ćemo ponovno stajati na čvrstom tlu and we'll see the good i vidjet ćemo dobrot let's look at the example from david pogledajmo davidov primjer so this is psalm 3 u pitanju je treći psalm. And the first verse is nice. It, it tells us the context. Prvi stih je lijep zato što nam govori malo o kontekstu. A psalm of David when he had fled from Absalom his son. Psalm Davidov kad je David bježao pred sinom Apšalomom. Oh, and if you're if you're happening to read from an English Bible, the verses are different from a Croatian Bible. Ako čitate iz Biblije na engleskom jeziku, onda su stihovi pomaznuti za jedan u odnosu na Hrvatsku Bibliju. Because the title is verse 1 in Croatian. Jer prvi stih je naslov na Hrvatsku. And I'm I'm reading from English, but I'm going to use the Croatian numbers. 
Tako da ću ja čitati na engleskom, ali ću koristiti hrvatske brojeve. So we get this context. Before I talk to, about the psalm, I'd like to tell you about the context. I prije nego što uh, vam ispričam o ovom psalmu, volio bih vam ispričati malo o kontekstu. It's helpful to understand lament on these, these few psalms where we can really place them in the story. Od velike nam je pomoći prepoznati uh, uh, tužaljke, pogotovo u ovim uh, ulomcima gdje možemo to staviti unutar konteksta jedne priče. This is 2 Samuel 15 and 16. Uh, ovo je uh, druga Samuelova 15. i 16. poglavlje. And David's son Absalom has created a rebellion. Davidov sin Absalom je uh, pokrenuo jedan uh, jednu pobunu. And word comes to David's advisors. I uh, javili su to uh, Davidovim savjetnicima. And he has to flee Jerusalem. I on mora pobjeći iz Jeruzalema. And he's he's leaving Jerusalem. He's going up the Mount of Olives. I napušta Jeruzalem i ide na uh, Maslinsku goru. He's barefoot. Bosonogi. And he's weeping. I plač. So this is serious grief. Tako da je to uh, ozbiljna tuga. Um, everything he built is crashing down. Sve što je sagradio se ruši. And from a son, it's betrayal of a son. I to zbog izdaje sina. And he's shamed. I posramljen je. There's a, a relative of Saul who's out there throwing rocks at him. Uh, pojavio se tu još nekakav uh, uh, šaulov rođak koji and, baca kamenje. And tell him it's his fault. He's a man, he, this is what he deserves. I govori mu da je sve si je sam kriv i da zaslužuje to. And David's guys want to go kill him. I Davidovi uh, ljudi žele ga žele ubiti toga šaulovog rođaka. But David's broken. David says no, no, I maybe I deserve this. Ali David je toliko slomljen da on kaže ne, nemojte ništa poduzimati, možda stvarno u pravu, možda ja ovo zaslužujem. And that story ends by saying they arrived at the place and were refreshed. I ta priča završava uh, na način da kaže da su stigli na svoje odredište i da su stigli osvježeni. Which is interesting. Što je vrlo zanimljivo. With all that's going on. U sve što se događa. The weeping of David. Davidovo plakanje. How is he refreshed? Na koji način on može biti osvježen? And we, I think we see it in the psalm. I mislim da to vidimo u ovom psalmu. The complaint is in verses 2 and 3. Uh, dakle pritužbu vidimo u stihovima 2 i 3. Well, first the address, O oh Lord. Dakle prvo uh, imamo to uh, uh, obraćanje Davida Bogu gdje kaže Jahve. You know what? Let's read the whole psalm. Uh, let's read it all just in Croatian. Just go ahead and read through it. Ono ćemo pročitati na hrvatskom psalmu cijeli. Jahve, koliko je tlačitelja mojih, koliki se podišu name. Mnogi su što o meni zbore, nemam u spasenja u Bogu. Ti si ipak štit moj, Jahve. Slavo moja, ti mi glavu podižeš. I sve glasa Jahvi zavapih, i on me usliša sa sve te gore svoje. Sad mogu leć i usnuti. I onda ustat, jer me Jahve drži. Ne bojim se tisuća ljudi što me obsjedaju dušmanski. Ustani, o Jahve, spasi me, o Bože moj. Ti udaraš po obrazu sve neprijatelje moje, opakima zube razbijaš. U Jahve je spasenje, na tvom narodu tvoj je blagoslov. So in two and three we get the complaint. Dakle, u drugom i trećem stihu uh, vidimo njegovu pritužbu. This is a repetition of how many, how many people are around me. There's so many people. Koliko je tih tlačitelja mojih, toliko ih je. Um, and not only that, but they're saying there's no deliverance for you. You have no hope. God, God's forgotten you. I ne samo to, nego oni ga još i verbalno napadaju i kažu mu, Bog je na tebe zaboravio. Nema ti pomoć. And it, maybe you've had that experience. I možda ste i vi nekad imali takvu iskustvu. Something goes awful in life. Nešto vam se grozno dogodi u životu. And there's somebody in your family. I netko imate or, nekoga u vašoj obitelji. Or a colleague. Ili neko kolega. Or a neighbor. Ili susjeda. Who, who couldn't wait for things to go bad for you. Koji jedva uh, dočekao da vam stvari krenu I mean, po kriju. Yeah, yeah, you talk Talk about Jesus all the time. Yeah. You know, you think you're special. You know how to worship better than everybody else. Yeah. And what's God doing for you? You lost your job. Yeah, every, yeah, you're nothing special. You don't know God any better than anybody else. And so these voices on the outside are actually affirming voices we already have on the inside. 
I ti glasovi izvana, oni potvrđuju mm-hmm. neke stvari koje mi već razmišljamo i sami u sebi. David was already saying maybe I deserve it. Jer David je tada, David je tada govorio, pa možda je istina da ja ovo zaslužujem. We're shaken. Uzdrmani smo. We're dismayed. Uh, mm-hmm. pomalo smo u očaju. You think about everything that David's lost and on top of that is the shame of people saying God's forgotten you. Uh, kad razmislite o svemu što je David izgubio i onda još povrh svega toga imate sve te ljude koji govore uh, Bog te zaboravio. Then in verse 4 we get a statement of trust. Ali onda u četvrtom stihu imamo njegovu izjavu vjere. But it, is, it starts with but or however. Uh, I na engleskom barem počinje sa ipak. Um, God you're my shield. Ti si ipak štit moj. You're my glory. Ti si moja slava. You lift my head. I ti mi glavu podižeš. You're my shield. Ti si moj štit. You protect me. Ti me štitiš in this life. U ovom životu. I, I'm trusting in your protection. Ja vjerujem, mm. ja, ja se uzdam u tvoju zaštitu. And I know you're protecting me through the next life. I znaš da, da, znam da me štitiš sve do sljedećeg života. You're taking me through death. I da me provodiš kroz smrt. But in this life you're protecting me. Ali u ovom životu ti me štitiš. And you are my glory. I ti si moja slava. I'm holding on to you because you're the most important um, thing in my life. I držim se tebe jer ti si najvažnija stvar u mom životu. It's not, it's not the career I built. Nije, nije najvažnija stvar moja karijera. It's not my kids. Nisu ni moja djeca. It's not my faculty. Niti fakultet. It's you, God. Već ti, Bože. So if all the rest falls away, sve drugo bljedi pred You are my glory. Ti si moja slava. And you lift my head. I ti mi glavu podižiš. You give me identity. Ti mi daješ identitet. You give me worth. Daješ mi vrijednost. They can speak words of shame on me. Drugi me mogu posramljivati. They can rejoice in my failure. Mogu se radovati moji neuspjesi. My life can fall apart. Moj život se može raspasti. And I hang my head at, and I, I'm, I'm ashamed and, and I know my sin. I ja ću, moj pogled će klonuti i ja ću se sramiti. But you lift me up. Ali ti ćeš me podići. You give me value. You've invited me into your family and you've called me my child. So David speaks truth and then this is kind of out of order. We kind of, now we kind of get the statement of assurance. I ovo je malo nije redoslijed baš uh, kako bi trebao zato što sljedeće što dobijamo je ta izjava sigurnosti. Verse 5 I was crying to the Lord and the Lord answered. Peti stih i sve glasa Jahvi zavapih i on me usliša. In verse 6 is why I think it's assurance. I še, zbog šestog stiha mislim da je ovo izjava sigurnosti. Because David says I lay down, I slept and I woke up sustained. I jer u šestom stihu kaže sad mogu leći i usnuti i onda ustati jer me Jahve drži. And I think and my son betrays me. I, ako ja razmišljam da me sin izda and I've, I've lost everything I've built izgubio sam sve što sam izgradio and speak of, people speak of me shamefully i ljudi o meni ljudi me posramljuju i o meni govore sa sramom how do I sleep? kako ja mogu spavati? how do you sleep? kako vi spavate? when life is not working kad život ne funkcionira how do you sleep? kako spavate? and I lay down and my mind's running ja legnem i onda ne mogu zaustaviti svoje I wake up in the middle of the night and I, I just, se and it's still going. I još uvijek mi se te misli roje. I dream. Sanja. And I don't wake up refreshed. I ne budim se baš osvježen. I'm not sustained. You know, I'm just as tired when I wake up as I was when I went to bed. Bog me ne drži, you know, kao da je jednako sam umoran kad se probudim ujutro kao i onda kad sam I, just, I don't want to wake up. Ne želim se uopće probuditi. But something's already happening in David. He's He's cried out to God and God's answered him. Ali u Davidu se već nešto događa. On je zavapio Bogu i Bog mu je odgovorio. So I, I think this is a case where it was a day. Tako da mislim da je ovo slučaj gdje it was a day. It was it was a day. He was lamenting in the morning. Aha, da je to bio cijeli jedan dan, da je on žalovao je ujutro. And on his way to the place they rested. I na putu do tog mjesta na kojem su se išli odmoriti. But somehow he heard from God. 
and he laid down and he slept. Na neki način je ipak čuo od Boga, Bog je odgovorio na njegov vapaj mm. i uh, mogao je leći i odmoriti se. In verse 7, it's kind of trust, it's also kind of assurance. Sedmi stih je uh, i povjerenje, a isto tako i sigurnost. Na Because način. remember he was crying out, there are so many against me. Jer ako se sjećate, na početku je bio govorio toliko je tih koji me okružuju, dvačitelja mojih. But in talking to God, his perspective is starting to change. And he says, but I'm not afraid of 10,000. And he says that he's with God. Um, then in verse 8, you get the, the request for deliverance. I onda u osmom stihu dobijate tu uh, njegovu, uh, uh, njegov zahtjev za oslobođenjem. First part of verse 8, Pasenjem. arise, O Lord, save me, O my God. Jer u osmom stihu kaže, ustani, O Jahve, spasi me, Bože moj. And then the rest of eight really is assurance. I ostatak osmoga, uh, osmoga stiha u istinu je ta sigurnost. For you struck my enemies on the cheek. Ti udaraš po obrazu sve neprijatelje. You shattered the teeth of the wicked. Opak ima zube razbijaš. And he says it in past tense as though it's already. I on je to rekao, uh, ako, pri, ako primijetite... Uh, Ah, u hrvatskom je to uh, present, 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 ah, okay. present uh, sadašnjost. You are doing it. Ti udaraj, da. Yeah, da, yeah, yeah, yeah. Pro, continuous. But this is, this is the first day of the civil war. Uh, ali ovo je kao prvi dan uh, građanskog rata. And David can already see God defeating his enemies. I David već može vidjeti kraj i može vidjeti Boga kako uh, poražava njegove protivnike. And verse 9 is praise. Salvation belongs to the Lord. I deveti stih je slavljenje. Let your blessing be on the people. U Jahve je spasenje na tvom narodu, tvoj je blagoslov. So this is the idea of lament. Tako da, ideja tužaljke is, is when reality shakes us kad nas realnost potrese that we honestly speak to God uh, our feelings and our fears da iskreno kažemo Bogu sve naše ideje sve naše <coughs> sve naše uh, strahove and we then take the step to speak truth what we know true about the good character of God i onda da govorimo istinu, sve one stvari koje znamo o Božjem karakteru. And we persevere in that. I da u tome ustrajemo. Whether it takes a day, bez obzira or, traje li to jedan dan, or weeks, ili tjednima, or a year, ili godinama, until God brings assurance into our hearts. Dok, dok god Bog ne donese tu sigurnost u naša srca. We, we can't force that, we can't make that happen. You can't make yourself joyful. I mi to ne možemo isforsirati, ne možete vi sami no. sebe učiniti sretnim. We keep stating truth until God brings us to that place. Već možemo govoriti istinu dok nas sam Bog ne dovede do tog mjesta. And then we're able to praise out of a heart of joy. I onda smo ga u stanju slaviti iz jednog srca slavljenja, iz srca radosti. We have a few different ways that we respond instead of lament. Imamo, imamo i nekoliko drugih uh, načina na koje, na koje reagiramo uh, koji nisu Pritužbe. Sometimes we, we refuse to admit that anything's bad. Ponekad odbijamo uopće priznati da se išta loše događa. Uh, I'm going to pretend that everything's good. Ja ću se samo yeah. praviti kao da je sve ok. Uh, sometimes we feel alone and isolated. Everything's good for everybody else, but I'm hurting. Ponekad se osjećamo sami i izolirani. Sve je ok za sve ove druge ljude. Jedino sam ja u teškoj boli i patnji. Sometimes we start the complaint and we never get to the part about truth. I ponekad, se, ponekad započnemo sa žaljenjem i sa pritužbom, međutim nikad ne dođemo do istine. We just complain, complain, Već se complain. samo žalimo i žalimo i žalimo. We're very honest with that part. Vrlo smo uh, iskreni sa tim dijelom. Sometimes we skip over the complaint and go straight to praise. Ponekad jednostavno preskočimo pritužbu i odemo odmah na slavljenje. We ignore the dark feelings. Potpuno you know, ignoriramo you know, te mrače. Christians mrače. are happy, I'm going to be happy. Hršćani treba yeah. biti sretni, ja ću biti sretan. And, and these different responses can create pressure in us. I ovi različiti, ove različite reakcije mogu stvoriti jedan pritisak um, nama. It can lead to bitterness. I to može dovesti do gorčine. Uh, to burn out. Do izgaranja. Um, anger. Do bijesa. Uh, cynicism. Uh, cinizma. You know, we become that Christian who just kind of... We cut off our emotions and we stand back and we know we know everything. 
postanem onaj kršćanin koji jednostavno se emocionalno odvoji od svega, malo se onako nagnemo prema unazad i mi znamo sve. We're great at critiquing everybody else. Dobri smo, jako smo dobri u tome da kritiziramo sve oko sebe. And when that pressure builds up in us, it's if there's no release valve, if there's no there's no release uh, valve when the pressure uh, builds up i kad se taj pritisak u nama stvori ako nema nekakog ispušnog ventila um, steam will just spurt out at different in different holes ta para ili šta je to već u nama yeah. će jednostavno izlaziti na različite šupljine and we, we burn people i onda ćemo opeći ljude our, our anger goes in the wrong place jer naš bijes završava na krivim mjestima our, our bitterness or our cynicism I, uh, I ta naša gorčina i taj naš cinizam. This is this is what I'm encouraging you to do. Ja ću vas ohrabriti na sljedeće. Is to lament. Da se žalite. Um, when life just isn't working out as you expect. Kad život ne uh, ne ide onim smjerom u kojem ste vi. Or when you're feeling da će ići. Um, depression or anger or Kad osjećate depresiju, bijes that you're very honest with God about that. Da budete vrlo iskreni s Bogom u vezi toga. And that you learn to speak truth into it. I da naučite se kako govoriti istinu u svoju životnu situaciju. God, I don't feel you are good. Bože, ja uh, nemam osjećaj kao da si ti dobar. But I know you're good. Ali znam da si dobar. I don't believe this is fair. No, ja ne vjerujem, ovo nije fair. But I know you're just. Ali ja znam da si ti pravedan. I feel worthless. Osjećam se bezvrijedno. But I know you value me. Ali znam da me ti cijeniš. I feel unloved. Osjećam se nevoljeno. But I know you love me. Ali znam da me ti voliš. And, and persevere in speaking truth into the darkness. I ustrajte u tome da govorite istinu u tam. And ask God, believe in God to bring you back to the place where the sun shines. I tražite Boga, tražite tražite ga da vas opet odvede na ono mjesto gdje sunce sija. And it's really something we do together. I to je nešto što radimo zajedno. That we learn to allow people uh, to struggle with some of these hard emotions. Da se jednostavno naučimo dozvoliti ljudima da se hrvaju sa ovim nekim teškim osjećajima. Like James says we become slow to speak, quick to listen. Kao što Jakov kaže na kraju krajeva da budemo brzi na slušanje a spori na govor. Not too quick to preach into somebody's pain. Da jednostavno ne 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 krenemo kad nam neko govori o svojoj boli da mi ne krenemo njemu odma propovijedati. But that we empathize, we već da možemo suosjećati, suosjećati. I hope you're not lamenting right now. Nadam se uh, da niste u poziciji da pišete tužaljke sada. That, you, that you're not in grief. Da niste u nekakvoj dubokoj tuzi. And so you can kind of think about these things from a more rationally so that you'll be prepared to enter into grief. I da možete o ovim stvarima onako razmišljati više uh, objektivno i racionalno kako biste se mogli pripremiti na to kad uđete u tu ugu. But in every Christian assembly there are always people grieving or struggling. Međutim u svakoj u svakom kršćanskom um, uh, zajedništvu postoje ljudi koji su uh, koji duguju. And if that's you, I encourage you to spend some time with God. I ako ste to vi, ja vas ohrabrujem really da provedete vreme. Totally honest, tell him everything going on in your heart. I da budete u potpunosti iskreni yeah. i da mu kažete sve što se događa u vašem srcu. And sredstvu. ask him to help you speak truth into your situation. I da ga tražite da, da, da vam pomogne da govorite istinu u tu svoju situaciju. And persevere as long as it takes. I da ustrajete bez obzira koliko to trajalo. The Lord bless you in your walk with Jesus. Neka vas Bog blagoslovi u vašem hodu s Isusom.